It was 2013 when Adobe spent millions on what they called the uncrackable security. They wanted to stop piracy forever. So it all started with something called the Creative Cloud, a new subscription model they believed would stop illegal sharing. No more one-time purchases, no more sharing disks. They thought it was impenetrable, but then two days later, a cracked version of the software appeared online. The millions spent on defense and cutting edge encryption was all gone by an invisible army. But how? That's where our story begins. To understand how this happened, you have to think like them. Let's assume you want to break a lock. What's the simplest approach? You get the key, right? In software, that key is the serial number or license key. So when you purchase a software, you're not just buying code you're buying permission to use that code. So you type in the right combination and it opens. That's how it worked in the 80s. But then the game changed. In 1998, major companies like Adobe invested millions in two powerful tools, SafeDisk and Securoam. These weren't just normal programs, they were digital fortresses designed to make piracy impossible. SafeDisk promised unbreakable disk access, while Securoam boasted layered encryption and the developers behind them promised absolute and unbreakable protection. But promises are made to be broken, because within just seven days, what took teams of engineers years to build were completely shattered. But guess what? Some companies even got smarter. They added USB keys called dongles, so you had to plug it in to make the software run. But unfortunately, hackers found ways to trick the software into thinking that the dongle was plugged when it wasn't. No matter what those companies built, hackers always find a way over it.